The Armed Forces of the Republic of Tajikistan, also known as the Taik National Army is the national military of the Republic of Tajikistan. It consists of ground forces, mobile forces, and the air force, with closely affiliated forces including the National Guard, border and internal troops. Unlike the other former Soviet states of Central Asia, Tajikistan did not form armed forces based upon former Soviet units on its territory. Instead, the Russian Ministry of Defense took control of the Dushanbe-based 201st Motor Rifle Division. Control simply shifted from the former district headquarters in Tashkent, which was in now independent Uzbekistan, to Moscow, also present in Tajikistan was a large contingent of Soviet border guards, which transitioned into a Russian officered force with Taik conscripts. For a long period a CIA's peacekeeping force built around the 201st MRD, were in place in the country. On 23 February 1993, in the center of Dushanbe, the first military parade of militants of the Popular Front was held, which has since been considered the day the military formed, due to the presence of Russian forces in the country and the civil war in Tajikistan. Tajikistan only formally legalized the existence of its armed forces in April 1994. During the 1990s, the armed forces were often suffered from a poor commanded structure and poor discipline while their equipment was under-maintained. Draft dodging and desertion was commonplace, reflecting the fragmented militia group origin of the army's units. In late 1995 the Mahmud and the Presidential Guard in June 1996. Colonel Khudar Budyev commander of the Rapid Reaction Brigade was relieved of his command as a result. Russian military advisors formed a committee in the Ministry of Defense in 1997 that established a system of operational training throughout the armed forces. In 1999, the first military exercises of the armed forces were held in the Khatlong garrison. In September 2013, the Russian government has given the Taik military $200 million worth of weapons and hardware in return for letting them continue to use the 201st base. The Security Council advises the President of Tajikistan on matters of national security. As Supreme Commander-in-Chief, the President of Tajikistan is entitled to use the Center for the Management of the Armed Forces, which would serve as the main military command center for the President. Similarly to the Russian Armed Forces National Defense Management Center. The main body of operational command and control of troops is the general staff, which is responsible for developing mobilization plans and proposals on the military doctrine of the Republic. The plan for the deployment of troops is also developed by the general staff in agreement with the government. Russia provided much support toward the creation of the National Army and trained command and engineer personnel. An institute of higher military education was created in Tajikistan. Despite the large budget and the adequate training of personnel, the National Army was still far from a professional service. Currently, over 100 Taik military cadets have undergone training at National Defense Academy and the Indian Military Academy in India. Taiks also study in Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan. China, Pakistan, and the Czech Republic to study, retrain, and improve their professional skills. The following are higher military educational institutions that are part of the Ministry of Defense and or other militarized institutions. The following is for mid-tier officers. Secondary institutions. Taik men aged 18 to 27 are eligible to be drafted in the armed forces and are expected to serve up to two years. Public servants such as educators have been exempt from the conscription since the early 2000s. During the Taik Civil War, the Russian government had around 22,000 to 25,000 troops stationed in Tajikistan to help the regime as part of a defense agreement, which is why the Taik government was able to survive the war. The war was often thought to have been started by Islamic fundamentalists. But more accurately, it was a war between the regional clans and ethnic groups. By the mid-1990s, the National Army numbered to around 3,000. The majority of the officer corps were Russian, mostly veterans of the war in Afghanistan. The Ministry of Defense of Russia continued providing material support for the National Army. 
It was especially difficult for the army to create its own military force due to the fact that many dykes preferred to serve in the Russian army. Due to the higher pay, because of military opposition in the country, the regime had the largest military buildup in the Central Asian region. As of 1997, Tajikistan had two motorized rifle brigades, a special operations brigade and detachment, and a combined aviation squadron. Tajikistan further had a basic set of units and subunits that provide operational, technical, and logistic support. The Tajikistan army in 2007 had